Good morning, everyone. Welcome here again. Ah, oh, what a week. As this week has progressed, I thought about all the things I've seen and heard, and I've shared the message Black Lives Matter as well. Matter as well. I felt deep sadness, pride, joy, anger, and a wealth of different emotions as the events have unfolded around the world, as I'm sure many of you have as well. On my island, Bermuda, we too are having a march. It's happened today, um, but it's a rainy day, and I'm not sure if they'll do it or postpone it to tomorrow. But we're all standing up for people of color. Yes. There was a trigger with George Floyd being killed, or murdered, I should say. But there are injustices that have been taking place for a long time. And we are now gathered together as one in this world to stand up for injustices everywhere. So before I open in prayer, let's listen to a song entitled, We Gather, and I think speaks to this as well. So listen. Oh, yeah. We gather our hearts in the face of hatred. We gather our love in the shadow of fear. We gather our light. In the hour of darkness We gather now We gather here We gather now And we gather here Ooh. We stand on our strength in the time of danger We lift up our song In the presence of tears We send down our joy In the depths of sorrow We gather now We gather here We gather now And we gather here We come together In this time and place We come together In this kindness And with our grace We call out for peace In the heat of anger We step into faith In the midst of despair we celebrate hope in the heart of sadness. We gather now and everywhere. We gather now, we gather everywhere. We come together in this time and we come together in this kindness and with our grace. We gather our hearts in the face of hatred. We gather our love in the shadow of fear. We gather our light in the hour of darkness. We gather now, we gather here We gather now, and we gather here We gather now, and we gather here As we've listened to that song, let us gather now in prayer. Close your eyes if you choose and take a deep breath. 
Let's open our minds for just this moment here. Allow our hearts to open and become deeply aware of the grace and the presence of God within each and every one of us. As we call on God's love and his grace in the midst of this pandemic, his healing powers in the midst of the demonstrations that are taking place, the love, the healing, the comforting of God in the midst of our pain and our suffering and the chaos and the violence in our world right now. Let us continue to pray for deep healing and understanding in our world as it is truly time together to make change. We breathe in as we pray for continual change, not just during this time, but throughout this year and the coming years to come. We know with the grace and power of God, that this change can happen. Because this change will uplift and inspire each and every one of us to be more loving, to be more kind, and to know what truly matters. And it is life. Let the almighty power of God within each of you rise up with pure love, pure peace, and pure joy. A powerful love that can shift our consciousness to see, recognize, feel, listen, hear, service, and care for the oppressed, the weak, the sick, the shut in. Let true freedom rise up now and always. As we bless those who are sick from the pandemic and other illnesses, those who are marching and injured, bless George Floyd and his family, the impetus for a new beginning again. Bless us all as we heal and move forward as wonderful children of God. Breathe in and call on God's grace. Amen. So we are gathered here. And I, you know I like to ask questions. So what truly matters to each of us? What matters in our lives? Many of us, I've read many stories of people who are coming out of the darkness into the light. They never really realized that um, things were happening because they just lived their life. Now they're asking questions, and, and it was a wonderful story of a lady, and I can't remember if I shared it already, who asked her um, mechanic, not her mechanic, a guy who fixed her appliances in her house, who was a black guy, and she was white, what it's really like for black people in America. And he proceeded to tell her how he doesn't drive at night, how he gets pulled over at least five times a year, just so hawks, even with the labels on his trucks and everything else, and he knows that he can't do certain things, and she was shocked because she honestly never realized, and she apologized because she didn't think she had to ask those questions. So now we're coming, many of us are coming from the darkness into the light and the plight of people of color. The wrongdoings of the police and societies all over the world. The marches and the demonstrations continue and they're getting bigger and bigger. We are awakening. We are rising up. We are praying. We are moving our feet. In unity, we always say it's not just about praying. We have to move our feet. And I know many of you to churches around the world have joined together to march in peaceful protests. And I always remember Matthew eighteen twenty says, For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there amongst them. For God is in the midst of all of these protests. Some have gotten violent, but sometimes that happens when people are angry and feel disenfranchised. But we continue to press forward with the presence of God, clearing and guiding the way. This is a long time coming. Martin Luther King marched in the 60s. We're doing it now. It's a new time, it's a new beginning. 
an awakening, a realization what truly matters in life, freedom, love, and most of all for me with kindness. I chose kindness as our path forward because it speaks to me in many ways and I'm sure to many other people. I looked it up and, and looked for synonyms for it and, and this is why kindness speaks. And one of these other words might stand for you as I say, ask a question and find your way. And here's the other words, affection, courtesy, decency, gentleness, goodwill, altruism, grace, graciousness, hospitality, patience, sweetness, tolerance, understanding, unselfishness, heart, kindliness, thoughtfulness, and fellow feelings. These are a few names that were there for kindness. So what matters in the midst of all of this is truly kindness. If we move forward with kindness in our hearts, we can recognize when we're saying something that hurts somebody's feeling, even though we were unconscious about it, but we would see it in our fellow man. So let's open our hearts. I read a quote on Facebook that was shared by my good friend Mary in the U.S. It was relating to 2020 and I think really ties into what this year has, is about. And before I read them, but go back a little. Any of you get this strange feeling that January 1 is at 2020? I went, wow! It, it was like a new world. You know, you always have a... a you know, um, start this year new, but 2020 was like, wow, we got there. And what does 2020 mean? 2020 is perfect vision. And it's, Unity's theme for this year is 2020. And hasn't this year been an eye opener? Hasn't this year been an eye opener in so many ways, starting with the pandemic, pandemic and moving on through the politics and all the things that has gotten us to where we are today? So I'm going to read that quote, and many of you have probably seen it. It says, what if 2020 is the year you've been waiting for? A year so uncomfortable, so painful, so scary, so raw, that it finally forces us to grow. A year that screams so loud, finally awaken us from our ignorant slumber. A year we finally accept the need for change, declare change, work for change, become the change. A year we finally band together instead of pushing each other apart. The most important year of them all. That's 2020. That's what this year is. And as I was preparing, I saw this headline. Historians are are. are worried because there is so much change going how are we going to fit it in the history books well who actually cares about the books this is our history this is what needs to be happened change is constant is always happening and this is our year to be on kindness to move us forward to more and more kindness questions again if you listened to my talk last week, you know I have those questions. So I'm going to ask you again, what matters for you this year? Life has changed, as we know, for all of us. I have planned a nice cruise and I'm planning my trip for next year as well. They've shifted the time frame and I will do them. And we had all sorts of other expectations for our world. But what did we get? A year of massive change unexpected change, the pandemic, all the deaths, the rioting, the looting, which are a part of what was going on that needed to happen, even though I don't like them, the marching. This is change taking place in our world, all around the world. You saw it in England, Australia, and um, Bermuda's doing it, and United States, and so many different parts of where we're marching because we truly want change. This world had paused for us to have the spaces I've been talking about, to hear what's in our head, to see what's going on in our world, to pause because for many of us, we were working 
nine to five and longer hours. And if you're traveling for work, you're traveling. You And on the weekends, you're running your children here and fro and doing all sorts of things together. And you never stopped and paused and breathed. And 2020 made you stop. And so now we get to recognize what is truly happening in our world. And how are we treating each other? This pandemic made us recognize that we need to visit our neighbor or speak to our neighbor or help out our neighbor or to help the elderly even more instead of leaving them on the wayside. 2012 has opened our eyes in so many ways to what truly matters. And now we're learning how to treat people of color and truly understanding and even though we had blinders on if we were white, for many people, to recognize the disenfranchised. And without kindness, I say, we can't truly move forward because kindness is what will get us to keep going forward with open eyes, with our eyes and our hearts open. Galatians 5.22 says, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness. Think about that. Those are, are part of our spirit, a part of who we are. All of those are part of us. And if we lead with those words in our world, it will be a better place. Our eyes will be open to systemic racism that is prevalent in our world. So let your perfect vision, vision be seen through spiritual lenses. Vision that we're talking about has nothing to do with how far you can see or how far, how well your focus is, on, is. But it's how we see the world. And each of us sees the world differently and through different lenses. But we each have a choice. We get to see this world. We get to choose to see this world with kindness. And to share kindness in our thoughts, words, and actions. So what matters for you in 2020? Six months have already gone. Half the year is already gone. What matters for you going forward? And I'd like to close this service, well, this part of my talk, with a poem by Maya Angelou. What a wonderful spirit who is past, but her words still sing true today. And she was and still is a powerful advocate for change. And here's a poem called Just Like Job, based on the story of Job in the Bible, who went through trials and tribulations, but he kept his faith, he persevered, and he overcame to a bright new world. And that's where we are right now. We're in that just like Job. So listen to this poem. My Lord, my Lord, long have I cried out to thee in the heat of the sun, the cool of the moon. My screams search the heavens for thee. My God, when my blanket was nothing but dew, rags and bones were all I owned. I chanted your name just like Job. Father, Father, my life give I gladly to thee, deep rivers ahead, high mountains above. My soul wants only your love, but fears gather round like wolves in the dark. Have you forgotten my name? O oh Lord, come to your child, O oh Lord, forget me not. You said to lean on your arm, and I'm leaning. You said to trust in your love. And I'm trusting. You said to call on your name. And I'm calling. I'm stepping out on your word. You said you'll be my protection. My only and glorious savior. My beautiful Rose of Sharon. And I'm stepping out on your word. Joy, joy, your word. Joy, joy, the wonderful word of the Son of God. You said that you would take me to glory, to sit down at the welcome table, rejoice with my mother in heaven, and I'm stepping out on your word. Into the alleys, 
into the byways, into the streets and the roads and the highways, past rumor mongers and midnight ramblers, past the liars and the cheaters and the gamblers. On your word, on your word, on the wonderful, powerful word of the Son of God, I'm stepping out on your word. Whew, breathe. So what matters in 2020? We are stepping out in faith and the kindness of God's word and change is taking place. Ephesians 4, 31 to 32 says, Put away from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander together with all malice and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God and Christ has forgiven you. So we're going to take all these words and be just like Job. And we're going to, as we go into meditation, I'm going to read our daily word. that is entitled joy joy and the affirmation for today is joy is my constant companion so breathe in and out centering yourself in a time of peace and silence and on the word of God we gather here and the reading says I discover reasons for feeling joyful every day even in the midst of challenging circumstances I begin by centering my awareness on the Christ the divine presence within I feel love and peace lift my heart and possibilities for good fill my thoughts. I am joyous. I may experience joy as exuberance, delight and wonder. Joy may also come quietly as a peaceful assurance of God's presence wherever I am, whatever I am doing. My awareness of joy brings a glow to even the most ordinary day. As I engage wholeheartedly in all that is mine to do today, I share my joy with everyone through kind words, a sunny smile, and a warm welcome to everyone I meet. I radiate joy and bless the world with my positivity happiness and bliss breathe in those words as we move forward in 2020 as psalm 118:24 says this is the day that the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it so take a deep breath in and for a couple more moments, breathe in the words if you've heard. Keep on keeping on what God has led you to do with peace, with joy, with love, and most of all, with kindness. Let's open your eyes if you close them. As we affirm and come to an end of today's service, I am kind to all men and all of God's creation because my heart is filled with love, joy, and kindness. I'll say that again. I am kind to all men and all of God's creation because my heart is filled with, with love and joy 
and kindness. Prayer protection, the light of God surrounds us, the power of God protects us, the love of God enfolds us, the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well and we are richly blessed right now. Amen. Thank you for being here with me again. So I bless you. I appreciate you. I behold the Christ in you. Namaste. Until we meet again.